Alright, hello everybody, welcome to another Warframe video, and today I want to talk about liches and the lich system. Now, why today? Well, because I finally got all the weapons last week, I've managed to get all 16 of them, though I still don't have all the ephemeras, I only managed to get two of those. Now, one thing I should probably say here is that I did everything with the Kuva liches on my own. I never played any public missions, I did all the missions solo because I just enjoyed it. And I never bought a lich. I got all the weapons myself, though I was tempted to buy a lich at the very end with a Kuva Hind because it took me like 50 or maybe even more larvelings to finally get it. And since towards the end I switched away from doing exterminates on Sedna and I was cycling larvelings on capture on Saturn, I did accidentally stab two larvelings because I guess I was not really paying attention. I was like, oh yeah, a capture target, stab. So I spawned two liches that I had to get rid of, though luckily. One of them did have a new ephemera. Now overall I like the Kuva Lich system. I even liked the first iteration which was most definitely inferior to the way things work now, mainly because it was just rushed, right? Some parts of it were rushed and that was confirmed by the developers. I think Steve himself said that some parts were rushed, mainly the part where the Lich straight up kills you if you get the wrong Requiems. But I still enjoyed it even then because it's just one of those things where you can turn your brain off and grind away and you get something nice at the end. The main tipping point from me, which took the Kuva Lich system from, yeah, this is alright, to, this is actually pretty great, was the change to Larvelings, so that they now display the weapon they will have as a Lich if you kill them. And the reason for that is it took the Lich system from something that I would jump into every now and then when I felt like it, to something that I could actually pursue. Right, because instead of just doing random Liches and hoping they have the right weapon, I could just cycle through Larvelings for an hour or two and get the weapon I actually want. This is why the reviews for the Kuva weapon slowed down significantly after I got 7 or 8 weapons because the chance of me getting a new weapon from a Lich was just too small and it would take too long to cycle through an entire Lich just to try again. So I would only do Liches when I really felt like it and I would for the most part just do one every couple of days. But once the Larveling change kicked in I was able to get a new weapon sort of every other day. I could just sit here for an hour or two cycling Larvelings while doing something semi-AFK on RuneScape on my other monitor and and it was great. Now as far as the weapons are concerned, I feel like uh, the selection is pretty standard, right? Some are really amazing, some are good, some are okay, some are a bit meh, but overall I felt like the weapons were pretty good. I know there were a few people that made a big deal out of the fact that you have to put 5 forma on every Kuva weapon to get all the mastery from it, but I think that's just because some people value mastery too much. I mean, yeah, mastery is important in the beginning, but once you get past like 16 and you get towards 20, Mastery doesn't mean anything. It basically just shows your willingness to level random pieces of gear that you are never going to use ever again. So overall I feel the weapons were pretty great and I particularly like the fact that they retained the name of the lates, which makes them a little bit more personal, I like that. Now let's talk about Requiem Relics and the Parazon mods, which were also much worse in the first iteration of the system because it was a massive grind, but ever since they made it so that you can get relics by killing larvelings, it's actually not too bad. It's still a grind to begin with, but once you get into it and you get one of each mod, or at least one of each mod, which you can also buy from other people or just exchange your dupes for their dupes, it's really not a big deal. This is actually one part of the lit system where I did engage in trading now that I think about it, and I'm not entirely sure if I bought a Requiem mod or I just exchanged my dupe for someone else's dupe. It happened like a month, maybe two months ago, and ever since then I haven't had to, like, farm for Requiem mods at all. So the relic system, a bit of a grind wall to begin with, but once you get into it, it's not too bad. And finally, let's talk about Murmur farming, which I've done an awful lot of because I'm just not very lucky when it comes to guessing Requiems. Though I did manage to one-shot one of my liches on the first try, which was pretty cool. And I feel like this is really not as big of a deal as people make it out to be. You don't actually have to do too many missions to get a murmur finished. The first two murmurs are done in no time whatsoever, especially if you're running a resource booster, which as I found out on my last lich, works on murmurs. This is something that would have been nice to know in the beginning. Now the third one is where your murmur progress will slow down significantly because you need to stab far more throws than with the first and the second one. But at the same time, once you are up to your third requiem, your lich is most likely pissed off, so he's gonna show up way more. 
And since you already know two out of the three Requiems, there's a good chance you're gonna guess the third one and just get the Lich done. So overall, I don't mind it, I think people make a big deal out of it that it has to be, I mean you can get a Lich done in two hours even if you don't guess any of the Requiem mods, though I will say that a different system may have worked better. So it's not perfect, but it's definitely not as bad as some people make it out to be. Now one thing that I would like to see changed with the Lich system is if they were to add some way to tell whether or not the Lich is gonna have an ephemera. Because I don't think there is a way to tell, so maybe give the Larveling the ephemera as well, so that you're like, ooh, this Larveling is shiny, I don't care what weapon it has, it has a shiny, I want it. Though I don't think this is gonna happen because they like to make cosmetics very grindy so that, you know, you buy them instead. But I don't think that's the best way of doing things, because right now, if you want to farm ephemeras, you're basically doing the old inferior lich system. You're just cycling through an infinite amount of liches, hoping that they have the thing you want. And by the way, if there is a way to tell whether or not a larveling has an ephemera, I'm sorry, and all of this is bollocks, but I've only gotten two of them, and I haven't noticed a damn thing on the larveling. And all that's left to talk about now is the future of the Kuva lich system, which we all know is gonna be the Corpus liches, and I really really hope that this just is an expansion of the system and not a different version of the system, which unfortunately I feel like is gonna be the case. But still, I hope that they make it just an expansion of this system instead of you having to have a brand new Parazon with a brand new set of mods to grind and it's not connected in any way, shape or form other than it, you know, being essentially the same system. Now, I do understand why they would do it that way because, you know, they don't want people like me to be overprepared and then blow through the content ASAP, but, I mean, come on, please. Don't make it so that everything I've done leading up to this and all the preparation I've done doesn't matter. That is the number one thing I hated about WoW expansions. Nothing that I did throughout the entire expansion mattered once the new expansion dropped and it eventually led to me just not caring about anything because what's the point of doing stuff if it's not gonna matter in a month or two? It just makes any kind of progression feel utterly pointless. But anyway, I think that's enough rambling for today, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think about the Kuvalite system in the comment section down below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.